Hello everyone! <laughs> it has been forever since I've uploaded anything onto YouTube. And as you can tell, quite a lot has changed as I have my car back again. And in this particular vlog, I'm just kind of going to be catching you guys up as well as showing you the process. Oh, the process it took to get this guy back on the road. So, I don't know how many of you remember my, um, Cobalt. My little Chevy Cobalt. This guy. My little red car. Well, I am out here. <laughs> I have successfully weed whacked all around it now to get it free. But, strangleweed. My god, I hate this plant with every ounce of my being. And I wish it did not exist, but it does. And it decided to grow up in my car. Yeah. So I cleared out like what I could see right in the front of this tire. But if you look back there, you will see that it has very much decided to grow all up inside of my car and then funny enough this tire well that's what it looked like before I cleaned the last one out and then if you look just over there on my hood yep that's them growing up out of my hood I am now scared to pop the hood of my car I don't necessarily know if this is something I want to get into, but I have new tires coming this week. So, one way or another, I have to get all the weeds out from under this thing. And try to get these ancient ass tires off. And then, somehow, attempt to get new ones on it. As I try to get it out to a, a dirt carriage car wash very awkward vlogging when there are people across the street behind me and cars driving by staring at me and I'm sitting here talking to them. This is very great. Moving on with set assignment. Yep. <laughs> oh, more of it. 
like literally all the white <laughs> strangle weed is coming out from under my hood. And then if you look down back in there. It's all still just covered in single wheel down here. The camera will focus for you guys. Yeah. That's a bit of a mess on there. Just a little bit. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what the underside looks like now. It's substantially better, but it's not as good as I need it. But that'll come later. So from the front to the back, that's the last little bit that you see up inside the car. And then there's all that that I can't quite get to. And then that last little bit near the back. And all the strings, which an undercarriage car wash is going to have to deal with. But little by little, it looks better already. Alrighty, so I won't even lie. Ever since I came in from cleaning out under the cobalt, I have been inside. I think we're about three or four hours now without like really filming anything. But you got me sitting around watching a bunch of Yona videos, and I got my kid lunch and did some dishes and stuff like that. But I just got off the phone with a wonderful OK Tire representative that has my tires. Betty! <laughs> and so now I'm just waiting on my mom, stepmom, mom, to pick me up <laughs> or at least get over here with the car so I can go use it to run down to the bank and sort out my banking situation and then hopefully I can get tire, smoky tire and yeah. So I finally have tires for the cobalt and the rest of today is going to be spent very frustratingly trying to get the old ones off. This is going to be fun. We are going to give it our best shot. I am definitely going to be calling for help. More than Brad. I guess let's skip to the good part. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, those are my new tires. And I just got three days of insurance starting tomorrow. And so now I can fix and drive my cobalt and make sure it is going to run before I fully insure it. So, oh, let's get to work. Ooh, good morning everybody. So, it is the next day. We managed to get three of the tires loose. So this, both of the ones on the, on the passenger side here came loose. And then we got this back driver's side one loose. But this one, oh, this tire, I am so done with the lug cap, lug nut cap ended up breaking off of this one the bottom one here this is the only one I managed to get loose and then these other three here are just <sighs> glued on there so now I okay, I'm waiting for the okay tire man to show up with the truck he is going to help me take this godforsaken tire off hopefully I will have new tires by the end of today. So conclusion, he managed to get four of the bolts loose, like the one I already had loose. A little bit more loose for me. And then he broke the other three that were possible to be broke. But the one that has rounded off, that just, that bottom one that gave me utter hell yesterday, it, I need to either drill it out that's gonna be fun or find a way to get it down to the shop so that you can just drill it out and extract it for me hello again it is now 10 p.m. 
bed has gone to work. The kid is in bed. And this bolt has driven me beyond mad. Nothing has worked to get this thing off. We are taking it to the shop tomorrow and dealing with it. So now I am sitting in my workroom uploading pieces to my computer to start editing this into a vlog for you guys. One way or another, I will be driving. I really want to say tomorrow, but I really don't think it's tomorrow, but I'm gonna say tomorrow. Or the next day. By Friday for sure. So, this car will move. And I also learned that is, even though I charged my battery, my battery is dead again. So it's in the garage charging right now. And somehow I will make this work. Good morning, everybody. So, we just got the battery in the car. The car does run. Oh, it was so beautiful to hear it run. I am literally just waking up still, and so it's 8.30, so I didn't have my phone with me, so I didn't film the car starting, but it runs. The bolt is haunting me again today, but we are going to call the tire shop, talk to them, see if we can work something out, depending on what they say, we may or may not get it towed, or see if they can come over here and help us. I don't quite know. But. Open for over here. <laughs> yeah, really, 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 really hoping that it's over here. We'll see. There we go. I'm trying to keep the sun off of you guys. So, okay, Tyre just called me back. Some good, some bad news. At first, they were hoping they could just come over and drill the bolt off for us. As usual, for insurance purposes, they're not allowed to do it off, off of the lot. So, we are going to get the three tires off, if we can. We're just going to get these tires off. And the three new ones on that we can. And then he's going to send a guy over. Even though it has the one flat, totally dead tire, he is going to drive it out to the shop. Where, because it's only like three blocks away from here. They're gonna extract that bolt there. And get my other tire on today. And then I can have vehicle, finally. But oh my God. This is becoming like the biggest struggle of my life. Alrighty, so we have one new tire on. We're still trying to do the get to the front because the front's sitting so low I can't actually get my jack under it yet. But since I put this one on, it raised the car up substantially. So now <laughs> we are over here attempting to get this one. Off. so that we can get a new tire on here lift it up enough to get the front one on that side off and then we're gonna call the shop guy he's gonna drive it over to pry that godforsaken tire off so let's get to it
frustrations at the finest, but a successful job done. We are learning to communicate, and now I need to call the shop so I can get this thing going. That also requires me to put some insurance papers in the window of this thing, and yeah. So apparently that's as good as it gets for now. Also, if you know any of the story of this car, you'll know that the infamous check engine light has haunted me in this car. After all this time, it is off. It is finally, finally off. I love it. I do. I love it so much. <laughs> Alrighty. That is officially 10.30 in the morning. It has been two and a half days. We now have three tires on. We're putting the fourth one in the back seat. And we are a call to OK Tire away from having this car move. <laughs> so hopefully before noon, or shortly after, I will finally, finally have my car. I'm so happy. Alrighty. Look at my baby move. Oh, it's so nice. hours ago I picked her up and I am just so so happy to be back out here again I just oh, I am going to show you the beautiful spot I am walking to Hello again, everybody. Oh, this whole vlog has probably been the end of the most stressful thing that we have had to deal with this year. And it just feels so good to finally be done with this. As you can tell, it's been a few days since my last vlog clip. It's actually September 8th now. The autumn is here and I am just finishing up editing this vlog for you guys and wanted to say thank you so much. If you are still watching at this point in the video, it means so much to me and please leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe because my next video I hope to be getting back to showing you more of this beautiful area as autumn comes and just life around here a little bit as the days go and just really getting back into the swing of things so thank you, thank you again so much. Um, I'll leave a 
few links down below if you'd like to see some of the other things we do and some of our more niche pages and stuff like that. I would love to have you follow us on our journey as we go. Until next time, bye bye for now.